It is a beautiful day. I'm wondering if Dan Mason is going to be right with his prediction for opening day. We'll see. Um, it's great to be here at Innovative Field. Um, Naomi, thank you so much for uh, hosting us, Naomi and, and, and Dan. It's great to be here with um, three of our partners in government, county legislator, uh, but I think she's also here because she's a volunteer. That's, that's right. Uh, Mercedes Vasquez Simmons is here along with my two council colleagues, um, Council Member Michael Patterson and Council Member uh, Lachey D. Harris are here. And we are happy, once again, this is one of my favorite events of the year, as you all know. We are happy once again to be partnering with the Rochester Red Wings for this year's Rochester Clean Sweep. Um, and all of our other partners. We also have the Monroe Ave Merchants Association. Where are they? Wave your hands, Monroe Ave Merchants Association and Neighborhood of the Arts. Some of, the, some of those folks are here, yes. Wave your hands and nothing, nothing can compete with rolling up your sleeves, working on spring chores and heading into innovative field for a game and a hot dog. I look forward to this every year and this year is another um, opportunity for that. Clean Sweep and the Red Wings are a perfect match. Um, and we are all, all of us that are here, we are happy to be able to have um, Clean Sweep again coming back. We know during COVID, we almost took like two years off. Last year was our um, year of our return. It was one of our biggest ever in the history of Clean Sweep. As you know, it goes back to 1996. Um, we had Boy Scouts, we had Girl Scouts, we had sports teams, we had church groups, we had families, we had neighbors, we had businesses, youth groups, and individuals, no matter what, we have a project for you, and so many of them worked on so many different projects last year. Some of the volunteers from last year are with me. I mentioned some of them here today, and they are here to join you to encourage you to continue to get involved. Um, if this year's Clean Sweep is your first or fifth, I want you to register today. So today, all of us are here are urging you to get out and register today for Clean Sweep, which will be Saturday, April 20. 9th, Saturday, April 29th. Is that a month from today? A month from today. So come out and register from a month from today. You can have fun doing it. Um, I, I went on every side of the city last year. So I saw our projects in the southwest to the northeast, um, to the northwest, to the southwest. We went all over the city and we saw the energy that really is Rochester. And we are so important for that. The other thing that's important is this is an important event for young people to learn about city pride and what they can achieve by doing just a little bit, just a little bit of effort and a little bit of time, young people can also get participation in, in, in government certificates for doing this. And we make it easier for you to join. You can come, you get a nice breakfast in the morning. Um, we, you can walk to the work site, or we also provide um, transportation. And more importantly, we give you all the tools that you need to carry out uh, the, the task of helping us beautify our city. The other thing I wanna mention is, is that you get to come back to the stadium where you get free lunch and a ticket to a Red Wings game, watch our hometown heroes Red Wings play at this fantastic field, um, and all while doing it on a beautiful day. Dan Mason tells us it's gonna be 75 degrees that day. So on the 29th, so get ready for it. And you'll see thousands of people spread around the city wearing their new clean sweep t-shirts every year we do different ones i don't think we have the new ones yet you have to come right you have to come the day of on the 29th to get your new t-shirt i think that this year's design i approved this year now that's there's last year's design but this year's design is going to be even better so get ready for this year's design so we're talking about a free t-shirt for everybody um and then thousands of thousands of volunteer hours in order in order to really really make this happen so this is a great opportunity for us to be able to do that so um, before I um, go on, I also want to um, give a shout out to um, Naomi Silver, who I'm going to bring up to make some words. But before I do that, just let me have um, Lachey D. Harris come up and say a few words about the importance of Clean Sweep. She represents the southwest portion of the city. They always have a huge um, turnout. So let me just have Lachey D. Harris say a, a, a quick few words, and then Michael A. Patterson in the northeast section um, say a few words, and then I'll ask um, our, our gracious host, um, Naomi Silver to come up and also I will ask Naomi to recognize um, the, the business who this great field is um, named after because we want to celebrate that as well. So um, Council Member Harris and then Council Member Patterson. Thank you, Mayor Evans. 
I'm not as tall as you are. <laughs> um, I'd like to also uh, commend all the volunteers, all the businesses, Naomi and her team for being here today. Thank you so much for the Clean Sweep event. Um, the South District is, is have a huge contingent every year for this event. I'm looking forward to seeing all our neighborhood groups, Plex, um, 19th Ward Community Association, Corn Hill, all of these different neighborhood association groups that come out every year and not to mention all of the, the youth groups in the neighborhood, teen empowerment, all of these different groups. So uh, I'm encouraging you guys to come out today and register, start your registration process. And for you t-shirt collectors of Clean Sweep, I'm looking forward to that new t-shirt design. <laughs> I'm gonna get mine. So uh, thank you again, Mayor Evans and his team. So I'm not as tall as anybody, so <laughs> look, Clean Sweep is an institution in Rochester. But you know, you don't have to belong to a neighborhood group to participate. If you don't belong to a neighborhood group, but you know, you want to come out and give back, go on the city website, sign up, and come on out here and have a good time. Get together with some folks and just go somewhere, rake a little bit, pick up a little bit, have a little bit of fun, come on back, have a hot dog, enjoy the game. That's all we're asking you to do. It's your home, it's our community. Folks are always trying to figure out what can I do to make it better? Well, here's something real simple and real easy. Just come on out and participate. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. And now you can see um, the Red Wings are ready and uh, we have a great leader in our community. We are blessed to have had the Silver, State, the silver, uh, the silver Family um, to continue to have a, be a great support of the city. And we're so grateful for Naomi and um, the Red Wings, uh, Dan Mason, and all of their support. So, um, Naomi Silver. Thank you so much, Malik. Thanks, everyone. I want to thank Mayor Evans and his wonderful staff at the city and the city council to, again, allowing us to host uh, the Rochester's Clean Sweep. Please allow me to recognize Red Wings GM, Dan Mason. Chairman, Chairman of our board, Gary Larder, and Justin Copey, the owner of Innovative Solutions, who is, yeah, who is uh, Justin, Justin, who's, who's given us uh, his name to put on our field, and we're very, very proud of that. So welcome to Innovative Field. Most importantly for our fans, I want to welcome our Red Wings players. I saw you guys here a moment ago. That away. That away. We have with us infielder, outfielder Jack Dunn, pitcher Jake Irvin, and outfielder Cody Wilson, all of whom will be helping out with the City of Rochester's clean sweep. You know, we love it when our players get involved in uh, a city initiative and getting out into the community. So we thank you guys very much for, for being willing to do so. The, the, indeed. The, the clean sweep effort is one we're always very honored to participate in. It takes efforts of all kinds to make a city livable, with clean sweep being a big part of it in kicking off our beautiful spring in Rochester. The city's residents and businesses in the area deserve to have a clean and beautiful city that they can be proud of, and we believe that very, very strongly. It takes a lot of support to make the day a success, so we encourage everyone who can spare a few hours the morning of the 29th to come out and join the effort. And together with Mayor Evans, we'll make it worth your while, as he mentioned, Starting in the morning, we'll serve breakfast, give you a great looking, brightly colored t-shirt, and when the work is done, the city will be hosting you at a ball game with a hot dog and a Coke for all of your efforts. And thanks to the mayor and city council for all of you for being here and for supporting this event every year, which is so important to our community. We want this place to shine like we know it can. So thank you very much. Thank you, Naomi, and um, just let me also thank, um, now, I love my other towns, I love my other suburbs that are around here, but the City of Rochester's Department of Environmental Services, Parks and Public Works crew is one of the best in the country, and I can attest to that. 
whether it be them going to help our brothers and sisters in Buffalo or, or, or going on an extra run to make sure that they keep our streets shining and clean, I cannot say a word uh, enough about um, Commissioner Rich Perrin and, and that team led by Karen St. Alban and all of the folks at the city of Rochester. They are instrumental in this. And, and, we, and we love them and we appreciate and honor all the work that they are able to do. So we want to wrap this up by again, just saying, as, as Councilmember Patterson said, whether you're with a group or not, whether or not you're someone just walking down the street looking to make some friends, on the 29th, make your way down here to Frontier Field, sign up, participate in Clean Sweep, and then bring your whole family and enjoy a great ball game with a hot dog, a Coke, as Naomi said, and great camaraderie, but more importantly, to celebrate what Rochester is all about. And that's coming together to look after our city. Not, not, not because the government's doing it or, or, or because the government's telling you to do it, but because you, the people power, that powers our city. It's the people that power our city. And Clean Sweep is really one of the big initiatives that's been going on for almost 30 years. 2026, I think, will be 30 years of Clean Sweep. So we're almost 30 years, uh, make, uh, approaching 30 years of Clean Sweep. And it, and it hasn't stopped. Every mayor um, for, for that long period of time, going back to Johnson, has, has, has done clean, clean sweep. And we want to make sure that, that this continues, but it continues by having these great volunteers that are keeping it going. So we are excited to see everyone on April 29th. You will not regret it. So come on out to Clean Sweep. Now, with that, we will take any questions that you may have, although I think it's been said I think we had a mic drop mo moment, so media, you may not have any questions, but if you do, we will take any questions that you may have as it relates to um, this great event coming up on April 29th. Any questions? Um, there's a wide variety of projects. There, there's, there's places where gardens are, uh, gardens will be planted and cleaned up. Then there's just trash that might need to be picked up that might have blown over or or that you might see after all the snow is melted. So it all, it all depends on the location that you're going to, but it is a wide variety of projects. So for example, last year I saw a group of folks planting a beautiful garden um, over in the Northwest in order to get ready for, uh, for flowers. I saw the same thing over, over in the Southwest. Um, over in the Northeast, I saw folks um, picking up uh, trash that had been in a, in a lot that had been there for, been there for a while. So the projects um, run the gamut, um, but it all depends on um, what is needed. The most important thing I think that gives me heart is, is that people aren't really tied to doing one particular thing. They're tied to doing whatever needs to be done in order to get the job done that's going to beautify our city. So it's going to be a variety of things that you'll see um, as it relates to the Clean Sweep project. What makes the program like so special? The people, period. Hands down, the people and the support. The support of the city team getting all of the items that we need, the Red Wings opening up their front door on a day that they don't have to do it, but they're doing it um, because they care so much about Rochester. And then more importantly, all of the volunteers. You know, I mentioned um, the Monroe Avenue Merchants Association, Neighborhood of the Arts. These are just a small portion of the people that are giving their time to be able to do this. So the people in the organizations that are doing this, that is what makes it so successful. The secret ingredient here with Clean Sweep, this isn't anything revolutionary. The secret ingredient are the people that you see standing here. And that is what makes this so successful. And we couldn't do it without that. So without the people, they are the main ingredient. They are the special, they are the special sauce that keeps Rochester going. And that is what gives me heart and makes me so proud to be a Rochesterian. And more, more importantly, proud to be the mayor. The people is the people that are, that are, that are gonna make um, our city successful. And Clean Sweep is just an example of that. Okay, thank you everybody. Thank you media. Please spread the word April 29th, April 29th. And thank you again to the Red Wings. Thank you. Woo!